This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I've been using it for the last few days, so let's talk about it. Now, day one started in Cupertino for the Apple event trip, so of course I had to get it out of the box. We have the new iPhone 15 Pro Max here in titanium, which you guys already know, ever since I saw this color, I have been obsessed with it. And now we're gonna unbox it straight from Cupertino. I have Gabby here to help me out. Hi guys. So let's open it up. Best part, here we go. Wow, a fresh titanium. Look at that, oh my gosh. And like I said, this is the Pro Max. We have the one terabyte option here. Comes in a few other sizing options, but this is it. This is very well, might be my everyday phone now. Oh my gosh. You know what? I actually got to check it out at the event, but now that I'm holding it in person, it almost feels even lighter than I remember it being. And one of my reasons as to why I had gone, had ditched a Pro Max for a while and gone to Pro is because of the weight and how much heavier it is. But this feels like lighter than ever before. It is the lightest Pro Max, even though we're in this new material, titanium, it's, it feels lighter and it is. This color just is gorgeous. It is so sleek. It is so, it matches the, you know, the titanium of the Ultra perfectly. This is the first gen Ultra. Now we have the Ultra 2, which I'm also excited to check out. But even then, like that match is absolutely perfect. Sorry, there's a bug. Love, love, love this color. And I also love the new redesigned edges. They're more rounded, which just fits better in your hand. Same with the 15s as well that have also gone to the matte side, but wow. This color is it, guys. This is so nice. What do you think? I love it. These phones definitely have like a particular look to them and I'm obsessed. Let's see what else is in the box though. We have our C to C cable. As you guys may know, we are USB-C life now and we love to see it. We've been waiting for this moment. It finally happened. C to C is here. USB-C, all the things. We're almost fully there, guys. As you also may know, we also got some new AirPods that have a USB-C case now. That is lovely to see. So yeah, I'm here for it. Designed by Apple in California. The question is, do we get a color sticker? No. <laughs> And that's it, that is all that's in the box. And now it's time to set up our new 15 Pro Max. I'm so excited, guys. I cannot wait to check out the camera system, triple camera system here that gives us really the ability of almost having like seven cameras. And of course, we cannot forget one of the biggest new features here on the Pro lineup is the action button that has replaced the silent slider right above the volume up and down in the same placement there. And you can use it to toggle things like the flashlight or your camera. You can use it as a camera shutter. The possibilities really are endless. You can even create a shortcut to it. Before we get into that, let's just power on the phone and check out the 15 Pro Max. After I unboxed it, I started to lose a lot of light. This was a little after sunset hours, so things were getting pretty dim, but this was a perfect time to test out low light and really push that camera in a nighttime setting, even some video as well. I took a lot of just regular low light photos, some night mode shots, a lot of night mode shots actually, and even some portrait too. In all of these night mode photos, you can see that the color still really pops through and we get nice and sharp detail, even in those lower lit areas. And this is all really thanks to the photonic engine that powers night mode and portraits, making photos all around more improved in mid to low light. We get up to two times better low light performance here and I really put it to the test. Now, one of the first things I wanna test out here is the camera. We're gonna do some selfie video and open up these new accessories. These are the fine woven accessories, a wallet and a case. As you guys may know, Apple has decided to ditch leather completely and go to a vegan friendly, eco-friendly option now with the fine woven accessories. There's also watch bands as well. But yeah, I'm really excited to finally see these. You guys know, you guys know, I've been waiting for this moment. This is the fine woven wallet. MagSafe wallet, and it is in the color, the color Mulberry. I got this. <laughs> oh, it's open. It's nice and buff. <laughs> it is nice, isn't it? There it is. Wow, if you guys can just see, oh, it's just so soft. It's like 
Why do we even need leather when we have this beauty here? Now we're also gonna test that rear camera for the first time in this environment. It looks so good. This is the fine woven MagSafe case for the 15 Pro Max. One-handed unboxings. New skill. There it is, Pacific Blue. And now I can even show you guys more detail with this rear camera. Do you see that? 0.5. Hi, Gabby. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> now, as you can see, most of these photos were indeed shot well after sunset. So truly low light conditions. And it's nice to know that even with the 12 megapixel cameras on here with some ultra wide shots, with some telephoto shots, there's still a tremendous amount of detail. If you zoom in, you can see that no information is lost here. Now, I'm not sure how many of you are into low light photography, but even if you're not, chances are at some point you're gonna pick up your phone and take a photo at night. And it's nice to have a camera or a camera system that can truly handle it all. And I feel like I'm gonna be so much more prone to picking up my phone and taking photos in low light situations now. Where are we, Gabby? We are in Santa Cruz. I think. <laughs> Los Gatos. We stopped along the way to grab some breakfast and also take some pictures here because it's really pretty. But let us know how this video is looking right now. We're gonna walk and see. I'm kind of just like holding it, you know, vlog style with the rear camera. This is 4K24 on the rear. And yeah, Gabby, what does it look like to you? It looks great. Moving along to day two with the 15 Pro Max, it was my road trip back home from Cupertino. And I gotta say, I got to using the camera a lot more with daylight photos and more video. And I also got more use out of the action button and a good little glimpse of battery life while out and about and on the road. So the day started with lots of photos, even before breakfast. Gabby and I were actually looking for a good breakfast spot before we really hit the road. And unfortunately, couldn't find any good vegan options that early. So we kind of lived off of snacks the whole day, but we did get a lot of good photos and really saw the camera versatility here. We have three cameras on the back, but that really equates to seven pro lenses. We have the macro, the 13 millimeter ultra wide, the main wide camera that gives us four different lenses options, the default 24 millimeter, 28 millimeter, 35 millimeter, and the 48 millimeter optical-like telephoto option that we get all in that main wide camera. And on top of that, we have a new 5X with a 120 millimeter lens. Now this new 5X telephoto is only on the Pro Max model. The smaller 15 Pro houses a 3X 77 millimeter telephoto lens, which is still a great option too, but it's cool to see the longest lens on an iPhone yet on here. Now, if you want to push the zoom even further, you can go up to 25 times in photo mode or 15 times in video. And there's a long range zoom guide now to help you for those more zoomed in shots to help frame the shot more. Before we get more into telephoto though, let's go back to that main 48 megapixel wide camera that houses those four different focal lengths. Apart from the optical quality two times at 48, you can set either the 24, the 28, or the 35 millimeter camera as your your default camera option. You can toggle this on in settings. And if you're somebody who prefers to shoot at 35 all the time, you can have your camera set to that every time you open it up. But I've left it at 24 for now. Now, apart from that, another thing you can toggle on and off in the settings and have ready to go is a 48 megapixel Pro Raw. And of course, this will give you a bigger file size, but totally worth it if you really wanna capture all of that detail and get the full capability of the camera. Thanks to the quad pixel sensor in here though, even 12 megapixel photos capture a lot more detail. And it also enables that two times telephoto. Now I did get a little taste of the better portraits in day one, really night one, but in day two, this shined even more where I got to dive even deeper with the new depth and focus controls, where even after the photo, you can adjust the focus point and depth amount. Apart from that, portrait mode is always kind of there with you, even in regular photo mode, not even in portrait mode. If you're taking a photo of a person, cat or dog, your phone automatically captures the depth information there. 
Whenever you're taking a photo in photo mode with a clear subject in front of you, that little F icon will pop up. If you toggle it on, you can see the depth right away. Or like I said before, you have control of this after you take the photo. You can add the portrait effect, control the amount, and even change the focus point. An extra bonus to all of this is still getting that live photo if you would like to. Even after you transform it into portrait, you can still view your live photo. I absolutely love the flexibility that we get with portrait photos now. This is something that I always used to use third party apps for, especially that focus and depth control. So it's nice to get it straight in the camera now. This extra amount of control with portrait also carries over to the selfie camera. That little F icon will pop up on there as well when you're using the 12 megapixel front facing camera and you can turn on that depth right as you're taking the photo or after you take the photo as well. Just like the rear camera, you also have that focus and depth control, which makes the selfie camera feel a lot more versatile as well. On day two, I also used the action button a lot more, and this really came in handy whenever I was handing over the phone to Gabby to take a photo. There's no need to tap and unlock and hold on the camera icon, just a long press of the action button and boom, the camera is open. As you guys may know, the action button has evolved the silent slider to so much more. You can still use it as a silent mute button, but you can set it to a bunch of different action button options now. And I think I'll still mainly stick to the camera like I have it set now, which I feel is more useful in my every day to day use. But I'm curious to know in the comments below what you guys would set it to. Now moving along to day three, which is actually today, we're gonna use the camera even more and film a Gabby cover using the 15 Pro Max. Definitely stay tuned and subscribe to Gabby's channel. I'll link it down below so you can see that full cover shot on iPhone 15 Pro Max dropping this week. Don't forget to subscribe. But for now, today's the day we're gonna film it. We are getting an alternate angle, phone here, Gabby here, backlit cinematic video. It's looking really good. I'm feeling good about this one. Here's some 4K24 cinematic video using the rear cameras and you also get a little more flexibility here. Just like portrait photos, you also get continuous zoom so you can zoom while recording. You can go from 1x all the way up to 3x here. Now all of this camera talk and we haven't even mentioned life with the lovely USB-C port that we have on here now. Even though I've mostly been wirelessly charging, especially while on the road, it was just easy to throw it on in the car. We get the same 15 watt charging as we did with the previous models. But yeah, USB-C is here giving us faster transfer speeds as well. And another little exciting nugget is that you can use your phone now to charge other devices. So you can plug in a USB-C cable and charge your watch or your AirPods maybe, which is really gonna come in handy for me because I cannot tell you the amount of times that I've left my house without my watch charge or my AirPods. So it's gonna be nice to have a nice little portable option. USB 3 speeds also gets you up to 20 times faster transfer speeds, which is gonna be really nice when I'm bringing in all these photos and videos into my MacBook. And as you saw in my unboxing, you do get a cable in the box, but I have been loving my lovely new Justine pink cable. This is the official iJustine USB C to C cable that Justine herself surprised me with at Apple Park. And I just love this shade of pink. It matches perfectly with my watch band. And I just think pink goes with everything in my opinion. Thank you, Justine, for my new cable. And I'll link it down below so that you guys can pick one up for maybe your new iPhone or any of your USB-C devices. If we're just talking battery life on here though, that has been amazing for me. And as you guys may know, I'm coming from the 14 Pro non-Max. So battery life in itself shouldn't differ too much from the 14 Pro Max, but since I'm coming from a non-Max model, I definitely feel the difference with the max battery capacity. It definitely gets me through the day, whereas my 14 Pro didn't. So yeah, we love to see it. 
Pro Max is the way to go, for me at least. Now this isn't 15 Pro specific, but because I've been mostly wirelessly charging, I just love standby mode on iOS 17. I have my Belkin charger on my nightstand, as you guys may have seen in my What's On My iPhone video. And yeah, it's just so nice to be able to just dock the phone wirelessly charge and see your clock or widgets at a glance. Love to see it, especially with the always on display. It's just such a nice feature to have. And it makes me wirelessly charge more now than I used to. So that's been my in-depth camera review of the 15 Pro Max. Let me know in the comments below if any of you guys are picking one up and also stay tuned because I will be covering the rest of the iPhone 15 lineup. Those videos will be coming very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hasta luego. But look, we found 20 for $1 avocados and garlic ice cream. <laughs> So we're just gonna grab a spoon, grab an avocado, <laughs> and, grab and call it a day. Gabby, can you show us? <laughs> oh my god, it's a key lock. It's one of the cutest things I've ever seen. For reference. Gabby's avocado picker. 13.